Towards the end of October, Manchester's town planning officials received word that their application for a neighborhood development area designation around the designated village center had been approved by the Vermont Downtown Development Board, a part of the state's Agency of Commerce and Community Development. The Downtown Board is charged with helping support and enhance the state's downtown areas in its towns and cities and offers benefits to communities which meet its designation criteria with incentives, such as exemption in some cases from Act 250 review and priority consideration for state grants. Manchester's Planning Commission and Planning and Zoning Department have recently completed a wide-ranging overhaul of the town's zoning codes, and one of the main goals of the project was to encourage more housing in the downtown area of Manchester. Janet Hurley, Manchester's planning director, and Greg Beauchart, the chairman of the planning commission, explained what the designation might mean for the town in growing the amount of residential housing. Well, it's part of the, the Vermont downtown program, um, and it's the neighborhood uh, development area designation, or NDA, would allow for incentives for residential development, such as um, Act 250 uh, permit exemptions, um, permit fee caps, um, uh, and various other incentives. Um, it also, for the town, it would provide you know extra points on any of our um, uh, grant applications to the state for say. Um, bike pet enhancements or the municipal planning grant program. Um, we also are talking about in in our downtown plan um, is pursuing the the broader downtown designation rather than just the village center designation. But more is in the works as planning officials are working on a broader downtown plan. One of the things that we did recently with the modifications we made to the zoning was in, in hopes to um, promote more downtown residential units and there are there are a lot of obstacles for developers to uh, make the financial commitment to for a residential units specifically downtown and so part of what this uh, designation helps and these incentives help is it kind of give them just a little more help to make it more feasible for these to occur and and it's mainly just recognizing that our downtowns are really important and we need to uh, make it as easy as possible for developers to create um, the development that we want downtown and not get it pushed to the outside. So, so just by uh, focusing our efforts on this area and making it a little bit easier, we're hoping that it's going to further help um, get some residential or mixed use uh, downtown. And, uh, and that way, it's just to have a more livable downtown, more active downtown, and just kind of a more healthy downtown. And, and as we stand here on this property, which is in front of the Hampton Inn, it's kind of a perfect spot where some, one could envision having some, some units here, some living units, perhaps above office, uh, or with offices above, or maybe offices below, but kind of this mixed-use development. And here we are where it's not being developed um, for financial reasons, just because it's not totally feasible yet and we're hoping that, that this might just help that just a little bit to push it over the edge. Another initiative is underway as well. And another thing that we're doing um, is we have applied for a municipal planning grant to fund a market feasibility assessment for mixed-use development in the downtown. And this particular um, parcel would, would be one that would be studied um, in that um, assessment. Parking availability is another consideration getting some attention. I mean there's at least a, a perception that now there's going to be a parking issue in the downtown and there is a little bit of, a, of an issue in the downtown district um, because there are new restaurants there and so um, there's a lot of you know the street parking is all taken up at lunchtime and you know, there are certain landowners who um, are upset that people are using their parking lots, but they're not going to the establishments within that, um, that parcel. So, so there, there, there has to be some discussion around, a, you know, establishing a parking program, perhaps, like we used to have here where there was a park and, and walk program and there, there were landowners that were invested in that program um, so there was less t 
territoriality about, you know, individual parking lots. But maintaining the character of the town is the main thing, according to Beauchart. Well, good architecture costs more. Uh, it's less expensive to build a box than it is to build something that is uh, that has a character to it. And usually, what by by adding character, you have different heights, and, and it moves in and out, and it has different uh, elements to it. And those always that always costs more. So the challenge has always been how to how to maintain the character of the town that has um, the building stock that it has that has architectural details that has a nice feel to it. The scale is appropriate. And, um, and how do you meld that in with new construction when you have developers who are always looking at that, the, the numbers to see what works. And um, we've been lucky uh, in one hand that the, uh, the building, the building uh, redevelopment that has been done for the last 20 years or 30 years has been retail oriented. So they were able to spend the funds on those architectural details. So we have some buildings that have nice quality to them, nice uh, little characteristics to them, and that's because they had a higher rent person in there. So how do we keep that going forward? And it's gonna it's gonna be on the zoning to demand those type of uh, characteristics and up to the um, review boards to make sure that that's maintained and, and adhered to and then don't let them uh, get by with doing something that is less expensive because um, uh, ultimately, we all have to experience this town. We all walk through. We want to maintain the character and even even enhance it. Right. I mean, gosh, if we could actually have buildings that that add to the character as opposed to just kind of keep it neutral, I mean, that that's kind of what we're looking for. And we know it costs more, and so um, we know it costs more. But it's also what makes Manchester. It's it's what draws people to Manchester is that character. And if we allow that character to be um, to disappear and and we don't require it of our new development then you know we might lose um, you know nobody might be economically <laughs> successful for the GNAT TV news project I'm Andrew McKeever